welcome back to my channel and if you're new here welcome i'm sheila of bountifulcook.com and today i'm going to share with you my lasagna recipe i know most people think a lasagna is quite difficult to make but it really isn't all you need to do is to understand the basics of how to create a nice base for your lasagna and how to layer it and you'll be on the road to making your ideal lasagna now you do not have to use a beef like i did in this recipe you could always use chicken vegetables or any other type of mixture within your layering but i give you one warning if you make this lasagna make sure you make two portions of lasagna that means two baking trays worth of lasagna because i guarantee that it will fly off the table in no time don't say i didn't warn you you can find all of the ingredients for this recipe in the description step one we're going to make the meat sauce Start by drizzling olive oil into a pan. Let it heat up and then add some onions. You want to stir the onions until they turn into a nice golden brown. Then you can go ahead and add the minced beef. in the minced beef until it turns nice and brown and is well done. Add some mixed herbs, lemon juice, cayenne pepper and sea salt and you can go ahead and mix the spices into the minced beef. You can add tomato puree, this will work well to give a minced beef a nice colour which you really need when you're making your lasagna. Add chopped tomatoes into your minced beef. As you can see, it's already looking great and we haven't done everything just yet. But this is what you definitely will need if you want to have that rich lasagna sauce. Add parsley to the sauce as you can see it really makes the sauce look far more vibrant and it also works really well for the aroma if you don't like parsley you could always use coriander your sauce is done you can now set aside and let it simmer on low heat step two is to create our roux or white sauce this doesn't take that many ingredients and it honestly shouldn't take you too long either. Start by preheating your saucepan and then add some butter. Ensure that it's unsalted as you'll be adding more seasoning as you go along. Once the butter has fully melted, add the plain flour into the pot and you want to make sure that you continue to stir until it's completely smooth. Add the milk into the pot. Ensure that you continue to stir. And if it's too hard to stir with a wooden spoon, you can go ahead and use a whisk to get a smooth texture.
finish off by adding some sea salt to the sauce, a touch of nutmeg and mix it in ensuring that it is fully combined. At this point your sauce is ready. You can set it aside to let it cool down while you set your table for layering the lasagna. Now for the moment you've been waiting for. This is where we layer the lasagna. Everything has already been cooked. It is just waiting to be layered and for you to just work your magic. When it comes to layering the lasagna, it's entirely up to you how you do it. I start with a meat sauce, followed by the lasagna sheet, then I add the white sauce, followed by the cheese. Now remember you can use any type of cheese that you would like. And the whole idea here is you layer it as much as you like. If you want more meat in your lasagna, then you're going to use more meat in the layering. If you'd like more cheese, then you can actually go ahead and add more cheese in between the layers of your lasagna. Do what makes you happy. Cover the lasagna with foil or with an oven safe lid. This will ensure that you don't burn the cheese while baking the lasagna. Place your baking tray in a preheated oven for 14 minutes. Forty minutes later, this is what we have. You can see how beautiful the lasagna is looking. The cheese is melting but not burnt. That's exactly what you want. Now, you'll have to safely remove your lasagna out of the oven and remove the foil or the cover that you placed on top. And you're nearly finished. Just one more step. What you want to do is to place your baking tray back into the oven and allow the lasagna to bake for a further 5 to 10 minutes to get nice and golden brown. And just like that, 10 minutes later, we have achieved that. It looks absolutely delicious. You can see that the cheese has melted. It has that nice, beautiful golden brown. And as you can see, it's still bubbling away. I went ahead and sprinkled some parsley on top, just a garnish, that's completely optional. But as you can see, the lasagna is done. You want to make sure that you set it aside for about 10 minutes before cutting into it. If you would like the full recipe of this lasagna, you can find it on bountifulcook.com along with other delicious recipes. I appreciate you staying until the very end and I hope that I have inspired you to make this lasagna recipe. If you do get around to making it, please do not forget to tag me and let me know how you got on. It is honestly such a quick and easy recipe once you really get the hang of it. As always, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. And of course, turn on your notification bells so that you will be the first to know when I post a new recipe. Until next time, enjoy!